Hello, amazingly wonderful people. Cyril White here, Certified Financial Planner with Four Financial Management, where it is my mission to help as many of you become as wealthy and as healthy as possible. My clients are driven by their very strong personal values and goals. They aim for strong financial performance, but also believe that their investments should be used to help contribute to the advancement in societal, environmental, and government's practices. They may actively seek investments that are likely to provide important societal or environmental benefits. Just as there is no single motivation for sustainable, responsible, and impact investing, also known as SRI investing, there is no single term to describe it. Depending on their emphasis and or perspective, investors use such labels as ESG investing, ethical investing, green investing, impact investing, mission-related investing, responsible investing, socially responsible investing, sustainable investing, and values-based investing, among others. Preferred terminology continues to evolve and is often different by geography. For example, you may find responsible investing is the most popular term in the United Kingdom. In the United States, sustainable investing is becoming the most popular term to cover the entire field. And you will see sustainable investing or sustainable investment used interchangeably with SRI investing and SRI investment. Few definitions in the world of finance are considered as ambiguous as the term ESG, which stands for environmental, social, or corporate governance. Across the globe, ESG is recognized as one of the world's biggest buzzwords in financial services, despite being a relatively unknown acronym as recently as just 10 years ago. Financial professionals cannot help but notice that ESG is often conflated with SRI and is often used in US financial media more often than sustainable investing. One would be hard pressed to find another concept as old as SRI that has managed to evolve so much in such a short time. And the conflation of terminology is indicative of how fast things can change. In order to understand the definition of SRI today, one first must fully examine the widespread shift in attitudes towards SRI that occurred in only the past few decades. Until just recently, and still by some, SRI has been most commonly expressed as an acronym for socially responsible investing, which began as an investment strategy based solely on social criteria, namely avoiding or screening out investments in certain industries that have a controversial, or in the case of religious investors, a sinful quality to their line of business. Examples of such industries would be tobacco, alcohol, pornography, firearms, military, and gambling. These financial strategies were aimed at maximizing financial gains while at the same time optimizing social good. But who gets to decide what is good for society? Since the origins of socially responsible investing were primarily motivated by religious teachings, in order to be more inclusive to a world of sustainable business practices, a shift in terminology was necessary. Therefore, in recent years, SRI has come to be defined as any investment strategy that seeks to maximize financial return while simultaneously advancing an idea, belief, or philanthropic cause that is important to the individual investor with the hope of changing the world for the better. SRI alone is extremely broad and can use multiple channels or strategies to achieve important qualitative investing goals, as shown here in figure one. However, the global financial industry at large has embraced sustainable investing as the all-encompassing term for any form of SRI. Because not only is its scope more inclusive, but it also places greater emphasis on financially important issues to investors. My definition of SRI will always depend on the individual investor client and can encompass anyone or a combination of the terms outlined in figure one. I will discuss each of these terms and clarify them so that you are educated on what these terms mean in my additional series of videos. Stay tuned, please let us know if there's anything we can do to help you or your family in developing or implementing your financial plan, risk management, insurance, tax planning, estate planning, investment, and wealth management. Thanks and have a great day.